Life is crazy, life is cool. Life is crazy, life is cool. Life is crazy, life is cool. Let's talk about life. Boom, boom. Hey, hey! <laughs> I'm coming to you from our um, our voiceover studio. This film seems wonky. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm going to film it anyway. Um, I have my pink book. And I wasn't planning on doing this today, but it just it's in my heart. And that's how God talks to me, so I'm doing it. The subject is light and darkness. It's been a strange year, and we're just in July. Um, and there's been a lot of darkness. Darkness happens. Darkness could be a breakup of a relationship. It could be a death, um, loss of a job, an illness. We term that as darkness. And it's, it's a season that we can go through. It happens. As long as you're alive, especially if you live as long as I have, You'll find out that things happen and you learn how to deal with it. You don't let the darkness embrace you too long. It's going to happen, but it's more about how you react to it, which is my second point. How you react. And see, somebody's vacuuming outside my door now just because I'm trying to, to share with you. But I'm going to keep going. How you react to darkness is so, so very important. It, um, it tells you a lot about yourself. We find our strengths at the worst moments. So if something's coming at you, I'm not saying don't act like it doesn't bother you because of course it does. But it's how you deal with it and what you do after the situation occurs. We're all different. We all have different ways and different mechanisms. For me, um, I always go to God for everything. That's just the way that I'm wired. That's the way it works for me. Uh, some people are artists. They may draw a picture or they may just sink themselves into a book or some project that they're working on so that they don't have to really face the reality of the pain that's in their life that's okay as long as it only lasts for a certain amount of time because the reality is when you have a problem you have to deal with it to make it go away that's the best thing to do but do something do something don't act like everything's okay especially if you got people that love you and, and ask you if you're okay it's okay to talk if you don't want to talk to your family um, find someone else to talk to because talking gets that darkness, that, that, that pain, that heavy feeling out. And once it's out, it's like 80% gone, right? Right. Okay. Number three I have written down is bring light, not dark. It is so easy to be mean. It really is easy to be mean. Uh, I think that's why people are mean on Facebook, especially people that don't have their picture, because you don't know who they are, they don't know who you are, and it's and you get shot down. Mean words. I mean, Facebook have rules. I've been in Facebook jail. I wasn't mean, but I use the word pig, and it can be considered mean. I took my sentence, <laughs> but bring my. Oops, I just lost my light. See, I said bring light and there it go. But I'm going to leave it on the ground where, where it is. Bring light, not dark. Bring light. Be, be um, an inspiration if you can to people. Hold on, let me get this. Oh, now my chair is trying to come apart on me. Ooh, the devil don't like this message. Okay, here's my phone that had the light on it because I'm in the studio and Percy's not here, so I, I thought I'd be smart and prop up my phone. There I go. Yay! See how I fixed that? See how I kept rolling? And, um, fix that chair too, baby! Okay. You have to recognize darkness too. 
See how that just happened? And I just kept going? Because I recognized that was a force of darkness. Um, I want to share this with you guys. And there's a force of darkness that doesn't want me to do it. Vacuuming stop, lights back, still talking. You know, recognize darkness. Do you have a friend that's always negative or a family member that when you go around them, you feel down rather than up? Do you work on a job that's very negative towards you rather than encouraging and positive? Those could come under the category of darkness. Avoid that if you can. Now, it's not easy to just avoid it if it's on your job. But you can get really crafty about avoiding negative people. I mean, you'll find a way. Don't go to that barbecue. If you know that JoJo going to be there talking about the time you broke up with Bobby 10 years ago. Or why aren't you married? Or why aren't you still in school? You don't need to hear that. Just focus on you and the light in your life and the things you want to accomplish. And, and let God direct you and you'll be okay. Okay. So, you also should recognize light. Yeah. Is there somebody in your life that makes you feel good? Is there somebody in your family that is very encouraging and loving towards you, no matter how you act? That's a good person. That's somebody that you want to go to for advice or really, really talk to when you feel down. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if it's someone you know that you can trust and your business won't end up at the family reunion. You want to be able to have people that bring light into your life. And a lot of times it's not a family member. It could be the store clerk that you see that smiles at you when you bag your groceries and may have a short, short conversation with you, but you feel really good afterwards. That's light. God bless them. Next, be your own light. You don't have to go to nobody else to shine. Baby, that's right here inside of you. You can shine on your very own. God put light inside of all of us. We all have the ability to uplift, just like we have the ability to put down. If you make a conscious decision that you want to be the light in someone's life, then do it. Don't let anything get in your way. This video looks weird to me. I don't know how it's going to come out, but I'm doing it anyway. Because I feel like what God wanted me to say, I'm going to say it. I don't care if my, my camera falls on the floor, if the leg collapses on my chair. I don't care what happens. I'm going to keep going. Because I feel like I need to pass on this message about light, which I also associate with love, to you. Be light. And be your own light. Hug yourself. Take care of yourself. Give yourself a mani patty at home. Sip a glass of ice cold water, wine, or, or, you know, whatever you drink while you're at home. And love on yourself. There's nothing feels better than that. Nothing. Because you can't depend on someone else to lift you up. You have to do it for yourself. You have to lift yourself up. Because the world will tear you down. So you have to lift yourself up. And it's not that hard to do. And if you think about it, and you find out what brings you joy, you'll figure out you're right. That's what I need to be doing. And the last one is, of course, of course, of course, God is light. I'm all about Jesus. You know that. God is light. And God is inside of us, which means we have light. Um, I was thinking about the 4th of July. And I was thinking the only time that darkness is good is a, really the 4th of July. Because we can't shoot off the fireworks until it gets dark, right? At least we're not supposed to. That's the way we used to do it. And when you have a black sky and all those beautiful colors of light are bursting in the air, all those colors, the darkness goes. You don't see it. You just see the light right? I mean, it's, it's a celebration and it's also like a release. That's the way you should look at your life, in my opinion. 
if you're around a shield of darkness, set off a burst of light. Beautiful, colorful light everywhere. Boom! Fireworks. Fireworks that is you. And you the one that can set them off. Nobody can light that fuse but you. So, that's just my point. How to have light and darkness. Know that darkness happens. No, you can control how you react to darkness. Number three, bring light, not darkness, especially more darkness. If you're in the middle of a dark situation, don't make it worse by being even darker. Recognize darkness. It's not that hard. It's always a downer, right? Recognize light. Light makes you feel up feel good, feel bright, feel mm. So recognize that. That's where you want to gravitate to. Be your own light. If there's no light around you, generate your own. It's inside of you. You have the ability. Love on yourself. Take yourself to dinner. You know? Give yourself a kiss. Mwah! Slob on you. Nobody will know. <laughs> you'll know though, because you'll feel so good afterwards. And lastly, God is light. God is light. God loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Because you're worth it. You matter. You are worth it. And you matter. And he loves you. And so do I. So that's it. Excuse this video. It looks wonky while I'm, I'm filming it. I don't know what it's going to come out like. But I felt so compelled to do it that I did it anyway. So... Let me sing myself out. Life is crazy. Life is cool. Life is crazy. Life is cool. Life is crazy. Life is cool. Let's talk about life. Boom, boom. I'm going to take my little camera right here with the light on it. There's all that night. Bye, y'all. Love you. Life.